DIY Photography's coverage of IBC 2022 is sponsored by Sennheiser, the future of audio, Sackler, producer of professional tripods, and B&H, the professional source. Hi, this is Yuki Wash from DIYphotography.net. We're here at IBC 2022, and we're at the San Heather booth with Simon Bisley, the manager of Strategic Alliances. And we're going to talk about headphones. So, Simon, once and for all, answer this for me. What is the best headphones for every scenario? Uh, UD, there is no such thing. There is the ideal headphone for a specific uh, situation uh, or you know, critical listening environment, but there's there's no one headphone that covers every eventuality. Uh, and this is why at Sennheiser we have a range of headphones, uh, and so people need to understand a little bit about how they're using the headphone, what they're using it for, uh, and what best suits the, the environment they're actually okay, so, operating in. Okay, so let's say I'm a, I'm a video creator, I shoot with a Sony FX3 or you know that that, that kind of range of cameras. Yeah. What would I want to use for monitoring my audio? I would suggest, I mean, we have the HD25, which we've had for, for, for very many years now, uh, which is used by a lot of sound recordists and so on and so forth. They're very lightweight. They have the split headband, so if you're wearing headphones for quite a long period of time, it helps spread the pressure on the skull. Uh, and obviously, they, they sound really good as well. They are a closed back uh, headphone, uh, and what we call super oral. So super oral means they sit on the ear uh, rather than over the ear so you get a, a quite a good amount of, of isolation but not too much so you're still aware of your environment as well because if you're shooting outdoors you know you need to know what's happening around you uh, you don't want to be completely isolated you don't want to get hit by a car you definitely don't want to get hit by a car so Simon here's a different scenario for you let's say that I'm a content creator and you know I'm sitting at home in front of my computer uh, doing uh, uh, tutorials or something like that, yeah. what headphones should I use? Well, you're looking at more like a studio monitor type of headphone, uh, and obviously we have a range within Sennheiser uh, from a sort of frequency response point of view, how lightweight they are, the type of cable as well, length of cable. So you have a variety of choice, but at the end of the day, uh, there are some important factors that need to be taken into consideration. So uh, headphones come in, as I mentioned before, the circumoral, which goes round the ear, uh, and supraoral, which sits on the ear. If you're wearing headphones for a long period of time, then obviously the circumoral are, are far more comfortable. Uh, Those are the ones over the ear. Over the ear, yeah, absolutely. So I can give you, I can show you, I mean, our, our starting range, within the range is the HD200 uh, Pro. And uh, these, these are our sort of uh, entry level. So uh, they're very functional, very lightweight. So, I mean, it, particularly if you're you know, moving around between studio to studio or anything like that, then these would be a, a kind of ideal choice. We then move up to the, the 280 Pro. Uh, now you can see instantly there's a lot more padding on the on the earpieces and also on the head as well. Obviously to distribute the, the weight of the headphones so you, you don't feel like you know somebody's pressing down on your head by the end of the day. It's familiar after spending a long time. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Also, uh, some have straight cables and some have coil cables. Obviously, the, the 280 Pros have the coil cable, which gives you a certain amount of freedom, so you can actually move around, and there is some flexibility, uh, and you're not going to pull the headphones out of any devices that you're, you're operating with. You then move up to the, the HD300 Pro, uh, and, and these are a very popular headphone as well. They are closed back, so if you're working in an environment where there is a little bit of noise and you need more isolation, then obviously a closed back headphone is, is, is the most useful. Again, comfy head pads, uh, very sort of punchy bass in these as well, so you get really good bass response, uh, obviously from the size of the driver, because the drivers vary in size as well. This is a straight cable, but you can see here we have a, a little coil here, which helps uh, with sound isolation, so if you're wearing them, if the cable rubs or, or, or catches on anything, this coil actually helps to isolate that, so the, the noise isn't transferred into the ear cup. So quite, quite useful in, in very critical listening uh, environments. You then have the HD 400. Uh, this is basically an open back headphone. Um, and for very critical listening uh, situations, uh, when you're sat in isolation uh, and really want to really understand what's the detail of, of the audio you're listening to, then 
these was, is what most people would use. And the reason, the reason for that is closed back, they give you uh, the attenuation from outside noise, so they give you a certain amount of isolation. But if you're in a very quiet environment and want to do crystal listening, then an open back will actually serve you better. And again, you know, it, it, an important thing as well is the materials that the ear cups are made of, uh, because some of them are, are sort of a, a, are a more leatherette or plastic style, or you have like in the 400 here, which is like the almost like a velour. It's a velvet. It's like a velvet, yeah. So very, very comfortable uh, to wear for long periods of time. On the HD um, uh, 300 uh, Pro, we do two uh, two models of this. Uh, one is the standard model, uh, and we also do the HD 300, what we call Protect. Uh, so people who are working um, uh, and listening to audio in a commercial environment for a broadcast or what have you, there is EU regulation that says you can only listen to a certain uh, limit of noise or level of noise for a certain period of time. So these, these have a protection device in them, which means that over a very long period of time of monitoring audio you won't damage your ears. So it's kind of like encouraging you to go out and exercise. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, indeed it is, yeah. So that's that's pretty much the, the, the range of headphones. Uh, earlier on we talked about the HD25, which is, which is this model. Obviously this is extremely popular uh, for uh, sound recordists, outdoor and so on and so forth, cameramen. Uh, they like it because it has the twistable or foldable ear cup as well, so you can actually sort of move one away uh, and, and listen to what people are saying or get any instructions that you, you're being given by a director or anything like that. They're, they're super comfy uh, and super loud as well. They're loved by DJs. Uh, it, it probably wasn't ever our intention in the first place to, to make these headphones so popular in, in the DJ market, but yeah, they're, they're really popular, basically because they are loud and comfortable. So I, I have to ask, we're on the Sennheiser booth looking at all those headphones, talking about you know broadcast and, yeah. and creating content, but if I you know just wanted to listen to some music, yeah. then what, what would be my preference? Well, I, I've got to be honest with you, uh, I mean, there, there, there's quite a lot of choice, there's a lot of choice in the market, uh, and you have to understand that, that often uh, consumer headphones uh, often have a, a coloured audio, so they, they, they're not true or necessarily flat frequency response. These monitor headphones and studio headphones are flat frequency response because you're really kind of listening to the detail more than just sort of generally listening to music. Uh, but having said that, um, you know, I like my audio and when I listen to music at home, uh, I use a pair of HD 25s. You respect the artist, you yeah, listen yeah, to what they I created. Like to, yeah, absolutely. I like to listen to the detail. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I have a question. I've noticed that out of the entire range, nothing is wireless. No. So can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, obviously, you know, there are wireless headphones out in the market. It's mainly in the in the consumer space. And the reason for that is certainly when you're sort of editing sound or, or certainly trying to sync sound to picture, uh, if you use uh, like a pair of Bluetooth headphones, inherently there is delay in that system. So what, what you're looking at and what you're listening at will never sync up perfectly. So, you, you know, you're never going to get a perfect result if you use a wireless headphone for critical mon uh, audio monitoring. So the actual Bluetooth protocol introduces yeah, delay. Absolutely, yeah. So it's very then difficult to match up and get what we call lip sync. So, uh, yeah, so this is why you don't really see in, in professional monitor headphones, you, you don't see wireless headphones at all. Uh, it's really something that's designed for the consumer market. Simon, thank you very much. This has been an eye opener for me. Uh, I hope that for our audience as well. Um, I hope to see you again, talk yep. about more gear, maybe in the next show, maybe at NAB. Absolutely. More than welcome. Thank you, Yudi. Um, Udi Tiroz from DIYphotography.net. We're going to keep covering the show here at uh, IBC 2022. Uh, you can actually win some of the gear that we've mentioned over in the Sennheiser videos. Check out the link to enter the competition below. Um, we're going to keep roaming the floor and bringing you more news about new gear. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.